This is the emergency alert. Si it's a vlog. What up, guys? So, <clears throat> as you already know by the opening and by the title of this video, it's a vlog. It's a rant vlog. <laughs> you haven't seen me kind of do one of these in a bit. The one time you did see, thank you for all the people that watched. All the awesome people that watched the last vlog with me and my friend Lexis. She's awesome, by the way. She's fucking spectacular. Her smart brain and everything. Kudos to her. Kudos, fingers. Kudos. She is cool. And that vlog got a lot of good reception from friends and family and new people that watch the channel. Thank you to new people that watch the channel. <clears throat> and if you want to see that video, there's a there's probably a card popping up any second. <laughs> so I don't want to be a naggy motherfucker. But since this is a vlog and it's not the typical vlog with B footage and like B-roll footage and all the other stuff. This is just a me talk vlog. And as I am going to do is talk. As I'm standing in my kitchen sweating. Because I'm wearing sweatpants and it's hot outside. I'm going to talk about this. And I'm going to talk about what's been on my noggin for like a past couple of months. You know? So, we're going to start off with a big heavy one. I basically got fired from my job. Or, in my case, I, I quit it? I can't really tell. Uh, I was working at a fancy ass movie theater that opened up in my city. Brand new spanking movie theater called IPIC. It was beautiful. And then it got shitty. Food got boring. People, ratchet, fucking people, fancy people. Like, didn't matter who came in that fucking movie theater. People were the epitome of assholes. I just didn't care. I met 2 chains though. But 2 chains. I love that dude. He was cool. I met 2 chains, And I respect that is the best day of my life because I met motherfucking 2 chains. <laughs> so now if anybody else says that they met 2 chains, nah, I actually met and talked for 2 chains and I didn't even get fired. So I'm lit with that. Um <clears throat> I should have got fired, but I didn't. So on to that. Um the job started slowing down with work. I started getting less I started getting less days and that means less money. Let's, let's, we know, we all know how this works. If you're getting less days and less money, you ain't paying for anything. Like, you're, you can't go outside and buy a meal, okay? I didn't have $3 in my pocket, and my bank account was almost dry, looking at 38 like, $83 for my last check. No, fuck life. Woke up one day and just said, not going in for one day. I basically won't go back to sleep. They call me, they tell me what happened, I say, well, I just didn't show up, fuck that. I'm not going in there for one hour, like, like, or for one day, fuck that. And that was my mistake, I should have went, but I just didn't. So I just gave, I gave up, honestly. It, my one rule for me, and I'm going to tell you guys, this one rule, and I've broken it probably a few times, just never giving up. I've never given up at anything in my entire life, uh, except for probably something I probably didn't know I gave up on. School? I didn't give up on school. I, I graduated, so that's different. High school. College? I just don't want to go to college. It's a different story. Another, another video. But this was just giving up on them. Because this shit was whack. Like, you don't give somebody one fucking day of work and expect them to pay anything. Like, I have sh my own shit to pay. Like, I got credit up to my fucking neck. And I'm about to be like, yo, they're about to knock on my door and say, where's our fucking money? You know? So, I don't want that to happen. But... It happens, you know? I'm just like, okay, I gave up. Should I be looking for a new job? I am, and I'm not at the same time. But that's neither here or there, and that's something you guys don't need to know yet. So, right now, I'm letting the universe decide my fate by letting myself blindly go headfirst into my craft. I'm making beats, I'm making more videos, and I'm just learning about video production any way I can to enhance my craft because one I love YouTube and I'm never gonna never 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 stop making videos from YouTube two I want to one day inspire people and just lift off from YouTube and become something better than just a YouTuber I'm still gonna be a creator a film expert I'm still gonna love movies but I'm still gonna be something that YouTube created and I'm hopefully I can inspire people and three I don't want to be broke that's that's one thing that's driving me never 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 be broke but since i got no job three is kind of like pause and stop <laughs> so pause and go and four four is kind of like forgetting to keep researching 
Four is practice and study. Practice, study, repeat. That is actually four. Practice, study, repeat. And I keep kind of hitting practice, study, and repeat. I'm repeating Batman a lot because I'm playing video games more than I'm trying to finish my cosplay or make a new beat and trying to figure out what I want from the sound, you know? There's been a lot going on in my mind. And a lot of friends have said, keep the videos going. Which, you know, I should keep them going. I just haven't kept them going because, you know, that's a me situation, guys. That's a that's an entire me scenario. So, on that hand, yeah, keep them going. Which I'm going to keep them going. It's just, for some reason, there's just been blockage. <clears throat> All the YouTubers have kind of... I looked at their videos and it kind of inspired me to push and push and push because you can be making shitty videos on your iPhone 6s now and then later on you'll be making better videos with a brand new Sony camera and you'll have higher quality and you'll reach 200 viewers. For me, it is about viewers at one point, but it's also about is my content engaging. I like that one of PewDiePie, PewDiePie's videos about how to be a YouTuber and he says you need to be entertaining, engaging, and you need to just be cool. Talk into the camera. Like so. Stare right into this little dot and make eye contact and be, <clears throat> just fucking be a person. Because you're not just a YouTuber. You are a person. You're, you are a content creator, but you gotta you gotta project yourself. And it's, I feel like I'm not projecting shit. <laughs> you know, I feel like it's hard to project this energy because you're just watching me from your computer or your phone or iPod or whatever Android or Apple device you're using. I don't know. It's hard to do this sometimes because I'm, instead of staring at this little black thing, I'm staring at the screen I'm looking at. So it's hard to, you know, get that one-on-one -on -one <laughs> person. Sorry. As a person, I'm trying to be entertaining. I'm trying to be engaging. But I'm also trying to make content that I love too. I had a schedule on my channel. I kind of broke it. Because I can't do Marvel news on this time. And this news on this time. Because when work was picking up. Oh, all my channel shit was going down the toilet. <laughs> Seriously. All the stuff on my channel. And all the stuff I was trying to do. Just went spiraling 50 feet under. You know. Uh, my homie Grant Uchida. Which is a cool dude. He does you now, and you now is a good place for him. I'm somehow a grantologist, which you know it's a weird name, but that's his that's his jam, and I'm not gonna put my bread and butter on his jam. That's fucked up. But I love the dude, and I'm mad success to him. He doesn't he uses YouTube to live stream, and he live streams from you now, which is kind of weird, cause he says YouTube doesn't get him where he needs to be, but. That's, I think that's where most of his viewers came from in the first place, you know? So he does respect the craft, and so do I. There's just, for him, it's about how he's engaging his audience, you know? He doesn't care about the money or blah, blah, blah. He still needs to eat. That's why he has, like, three or four fucking jobs. <laughs> for me, I was eating off my one job. I still live at home with my folks. But about that, it's taking the engagement to a no whole different level. My homie, Mr. Dark Phoenix, has a ton of subscribers. As a human being, I'm naturally jealous at him. Him and Grant both have amazing subscribers. Because Dark Phoenix was doing shit before, but now he's got all these subscribers. And he reaches a certain point with his views. And he, 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 he fucking just jumps there. And that's amazing. I'm actually happy for the guy. I am. I'm not a jealous fucker. I have jealousy because I'm a human being. But I love the dude and I'm happy he's jumping off from his channel you know we all have falls and downs obviously but i'm not gonna make this too long <sighs> a lot of youtubers basically told me to inspire they just basically inspired me and i'm i want to keep pushing my content to one day <laughs> one day or maybe tomorrow the next day inspire someone to push themselves to the next level which it's if it's me forgetting to wake up in the morning and stretch Forgetting to get up after I finish this video and not play a video game. Don't eat too much cake. It's better my body or my mind. I have to do these things. I'm never going to listen to people when they tell me to do something with my channel. Because I'm going to be like, no, fuck that. That's whack. That's what I think. 
I'm not gonna delete any of my videos. And some some YouTubers have delete all their videos and only left their popular shit, which is whack. <laughs> I believe if you worked hard on editing all of those videos and you find all those videos shitty, that's a waste of time. I believe I wasted most of my time talking about any of the stuff from my other videos than I have. But then again, I look at all of my old content and I say, I've kind of transitioned a good long way from now. Just because it doesn't matter if I body equipment, it doesn't matter if I put time in equipment, it only matters who's watching and also if I want to talk about anime I feel like I have to make a separate channel or just make like a catalog playlist for that because I want to talk about the new Death Note series because I had a problem with it but I kind of accepted it and that's for another video all in all so <laughs> this is long enough and my voice is like cracking to be this voice and it's like annoying but yet engaging so it's kind of hard to stay with you guys um Oh, and I just turned 20 fucking five a few days ago, uh, three days ago. Saturday was my birthday, so I'm now 25 years old, and I believe my life is going in a different direction than ever. I asked a lot of people to give me some shout outs, like to give me some happy birthday because I needed to feel good about turning this age, you know what I'm saying? Because 25 is the peak of, yeah, you're almost 30, motherfucker. Get out your mom's house. That's kind of the whole situation. <laughs> within my head. I'm dealing with my own personal shit up here and then focusing on projects and how to move and how to be corporate or how to not be corporate and be cool and how to make money, you know? It's hard to move in those social circles when I'm not part of the regular society of people, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of hard to be normal, which I've never been normal. I've just been fucking me, you know? I never cared what I said to people. I kind of always was blunt and honest, but I was always real about it. So different. Um, I don't drink or smoke, so that's kind of put a damper on what relationships I could make for people that do drink or smoke or stuff like that, you know? A lot of things I'm not with. I'm not with a lot of things. I'm not with anything, you know what I'm saying? I'm just that one person that's not with anything. I'm just not with the shit sometimes, you know? But sometimes you shouldn't approach me like I am because then it's just way different. I met one person. I don't even know if she still watches my content, but she's awesome. And I got some Nintendo shit I gotta upload eventually, but it's probably never gonna happen. So, before this becomes a huge rant, just, I thank you guys for watching, number one. I thank you for subscribing, I thank you for hitting the bell, I thank you because without you, I feel like I wouldn't actually keep going. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I would just quit and delete this whole shit, because that's the honest truth, and there's nothing I can give you, you know? I'm never going to be scripted. I'm never going to be by the book. I'm always going to be this. And this is as raw as it gets. Uh, <laughs> and this is as true as it gets. Because I'm a human being. I go through a lot of shit. I'm always happy. But then sometimes the happiness just kind of fades. It's like buttercream. And I'm just like, fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Back to reality. So even though I'm a little older, it's still me, you know? So... Thank you guys for watching this long ass video. Make sure to hit, you know, the me over here and make sure to like, you know, check out the Defenders playlist. And thank you for checking out my channel. I'm Fat Man DD1. I'm gonna end this vlog off by saying, you're awesome and you're still fucking with me. Thank you. Peace and I'm out.